On Capitol Hill, Senate Democrats are huddling for the second time this week, trying to find out if President Biden's re-election campaign can survive. Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump nears an announcement of who's going to be his running mate. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales joins us with the latest. Eric? Hey, good evening, Monse. Let's start with former President Donald Trump and his choice for vice president. Now that the NATO summit is over, I'm hearing an announcement may come as soon as tomorrow, ahead of Monday start of the Republican convention. According to reports, the list has narrowed. Senators J.D. Vance of Ohio and Florida's Marco Rubio, both pro-life lawmakers, are two of the top names mentioned. Now I spoke with both men about the possibilities. If you care about serving our country and you have an opportunity to serve in the executive branch, and you want him to win because you don't think we can afford to have a, another four years like the last four years, unless there's a reason why you can't do it, you need to do it. And, and so, but no one, it's presumptuous because that hasn't happened for me or anybody else at this point. Haven't gotten the call yet. No. Senator J.D. Vance tells me no word yet. I'll let Donald Trump make that call and answer those questions. I'm just trying to do my job. On the other side of the ticket, panic mode continues for Democrats after Peter Welch of Vermont becomes the first Democratic senator to publicly call for President Biden to drop out. I'm expressing my opinion. You know, ultimately the president's going to have to make his own decision. I think the issue is not about, uh, it's not about telling us, it's about uh, showing voters. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and the president, is, you know, he's making real efforts to do that. Earlier today, Senate Democrats met at their campaign headquarters with senior Biden election advisors to hash out a way to move forward. Sources tell me these advisors are pulling a Harris-Trump matchup, and they say it's playing better than the current ticket. Afterwards, Joe Biden has to go to the American people, not just in one meeting, one press conference, one speech, but consistently and constantly the press conference will be potentially a turning point. But support among House Democrats continues to crumble. Several more today called for President Biden to withdraw. But Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries says conversations are ongoing. Those conversations have been candid, clear-eyed, and comprehensive. In other news, we have a follow-up to a story that we brought you yesterday. This afternoon, the Republican-controlled House failed to pass the inherent contempt resolution against Attorney General Merrick Garland. The resolution would have subjected the DOJ to fines and other penalties for not turning over the audio tapes of President Biden's interview with special counsel Robert Herr. Congresswoman Anna Polina Luna does plan to bring the resolution back later.